economic times call for unique measures. It seems that just about everyone is looking for a way to cut some spending and save a buck. One fun and easy way to do this is making waves all across the U.S. It's called clothes swapping. Chris Taylor joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hannah. Thanks for coming back. It's going to be a trend every Friday. We're very excited about this. I'm extremely excited too. You know, it's always nice to bring things out when times are kind of tough that yeah. can save you a little bit of money. Yes, yeah, so we're talking clothes swapping. What is a clothes swap? A clothes swap is basically a free way to clean out your closet mm -hmm. and maybe update it or kind of refresh it um, for little of, the, little of the cost than buying appetizers or maybe some drinks for your friends. Okay, so how do we do it? Um, clothing swaps are very simple. We all know what book swaps are, book mm -hmm. parties. Um, you're basically going to get together and first decide what you're going to swap. Fall, spring, women's, men's, kids, maybe toys or books for your kids, or even back to school clothes. Okay, so uh, what's the best time of year to do it? The then? best time to, of year to do it is as the seasons are getting ready to change, okay. or when you just have some friends who are all complaining that they don't have any more room in their closet, and maybe they're ready to get rid of some things. Um, so create an invitation. We made some really simple ones just out of ribbon and uh, a tag you can get at the uh, craft store. And this is so cute. Let me see if Eric can get a zoom up close up shot of this. It is awesome, and it just literally says close swap. It looks like a price tag. So it's a fun, easy, simple way to do it. Yeah, you could drop those in the mail, hand them out, uh, hang, hang them on your coworkers' cubicles or uh -huh. your neighbors' front doors if you know that there's something that you know might interest you or you guys are about the same size uh -huh. or maybe awesome. kids are the same size. Okay. Um, so you've got that. The next thing you want to do is get your own clothes ready. So go in and clean out your closet. Find mm -hmm. the things that you don't wear um, and you know put them off to the side. You want to ask your friends to do the same as you and have your clothes clean pressed or um, steamed, you know, make them look presentable because you're going to be shopping a little bit later once you get going. <laughs> so uh, kind of get a staging area set up in your home, maybe clear off the table, um, end tables maybe. We have a rack here and just have some hangers available for when the party starts. So once people start coming in, and you don't want to forget to turn on the music too, I meant to, t to mention that. Uh -huh. You want it to be kind of fun like shopping in your favorite boutique. Um, so. When they come in, you're going to help them sort their clothes, hang them, fold them by either size or style, um, whatever you know works for your group, just whether it's going to be large or small. Mm -hmm. um, and we took um, just index cards and made simple little tickets. So for every item they bring in, um, you want to give them a little ticket where they can write their name on it, and you're going to mix them up in a bowl. And when it's time to start shopping, you just start drawing names. So for every tag that you pull with a name, you give it to them and you say, okay, it's your turn to shop. Something like an awesome spin on a Christmas exchange. Yes. Okay. But cool. it's kind of in the moment, and the the best thing is there there are two great things. Two people maybe they want the same item. Mm -hmm. Roll some dice or come up with a fun little um, you know flip a coin, maybe a small board game or something to kind of mm -hmm. break the break the rules or tic tac toe even. And two, <laughs> um, see if you can get your friends to agree that any unwanted items um, can either be you know they can be returned back to their owner of course, mm -hmm. but. Maybe you want to donate them. So, Definitely. you know, double duty. You're cleaning out your closet and you're updating it at the same time, and it really doesn't cost you anything. Love it. Chris, this is a fabulous idea. I've been to one clothes swap before. Not quite creative as this one, I will say. So, the next one I have, I've got some good tips.